What's going on? PM Vlogs here. I wanted to talk a little bit about a recent switch I decided to make and what was going on before that and just just in general just wanted to talk about the entire switch over. So I was looking earlier this year and or not early, well I guess it would be earlier this year <laughs> um, at switching basically leaving Sony leaving Fuji and going and, and making it happen to go to Leica you know the Leica being you know the kind of that I guess the Ferrari of photography equipment um, you know Sony's real good Fuji makes real good stuff Canon Nikon all the big brands they all make really good equipment but and as far as you know functioning it's it'll get the job done you know no matter what brand you favor they'll all get the job done they'll all make a great image you know if, if you basically if you put in your work you'll get good results whatever camera system you you choose so if you're looking at this video as you know what camera you should buy it matters your the the effort and you know, being in a good location, having a good subject to shoot, knowing how to do some post processing, that's going to go further than having the top of the line equipment. And I think the realization of that, and you know, and really going to the Leica or looking at Leica wasn't really that I wanted to have the best of the best. You know, it was more, you know, I can make this happen. You know, it's kind of when you start seeing where you can make it happen to get a Leica you start wanting to get a Leica just like if you're a sports car person and you have a Mustang or a Corvette or something like that and you finally see where you can make it happen to get a Ferrari you know you start seeing where you can put your your finances in a row and you can you know put everything together to get that Ferrari you know you'll eventually want to do that so in looking at that I started having the mentality, well, I started looking at the stuff for the Leica, and what really interested me was 28 millimeter focal length, and having gotten used to a fixed focal length with the X100F, and with some of the, stuff, with the vintage lenses with my X-T1, I started saying, you know what, I'm, I, I don't feel creatively limited with that one focal length. It's actually more creative because, you know, I'm and I find to get that shot, you know, I'm understanding where I need to be at to get the 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 field of view that I want. And I mean, I can crop and post process if I need to, but and a lot of that's what I do is I'll pull it in on the iPad and I'll tweak the image, you know, the, the JPEGs or the raw files on my iPad and do it that way. Um and a lot of times, you know, I've, I've learned to, especially with the X100F, to modify the JPEG, the the settings in the camera, to give me the JPEG that is almost what I want, or if not almost, what I want. And then I can just upload that to social media. So if, to me, you know, and then, you know, the Leica, the Q2, or even the Q, um, you know, I like the fact that it was weather sealed. The X100F isn't. Um, I like the fixed focal length. But what really detracted me from it is the fact that, just like the X100F, the rear LCD screen doesn't, you know, flip up or flip down. It's it's stationary. Um, the cost of batteries. And then looking at editing software, I like Capture One. And before that, I was using Lightroom and... and uh, Photoshop elements and uh, Premiere elements, but looking at it, I would have had to one pay outrageous call, price for batteries. You know, I was looking at the Q2 and I, the batteries on Amazon were I think two hundred fifty dollars or around that. Um, I would have to switch my editing software, either get the paid version of Capture One, which that in and of itself isn't a big deal, you know. Eventually, I am going to, you know, but so far I've been able to do my, you know, my my work with the, the Express version of Capture One with the Sony stuff. And I've been able, you know, I can use it on the Fuji. I just have to, you know, switch over to that license on the Express version. It's, it, it 
right now I'm able to do everything I need with the with the uh, free version that they offer for Fuji or Sony. So looking at everything, and then it's like, you know, in order to do it, I basically would have had to get rid of, you know, sell off pretty much all of my camera equipment to just go to this one camera. And while that would have been, you know, because I, I do a few shoots here and there, you know, for stuff, weddings, engagements, proposals, client, uh, business type stuff, um, you know, separate from the weddings and stuff like that. Um, uh, uh, PR events and stuff like that. So I would be losing out on all of that to go to something that would really just benefit me for travel photography, street photography, and stuff like that. Whereas I looked at really what am I getting and what can I, what would I want with this setup? And I started looking that for relatively a tiny investment compared to the Q2, I could go get a Sony full frame uh, 28 millimeter lens that's weather resistant, put it on a Sony A7 you know series body um, that's weather sealed and get a camera that is you know for the most part weather resistant which is a benefit over the Fuji system I prefer in, in, in comparing the images now I prefer the images I'm getting from the Sony system which I, I, I'm a Sony shooter I like shooting Sony I like the color I like the images I get so in looking at all of that, you know, it just, it, it seemed like it was a, the better choice to go was going the route of the Sony a7 II with the 28 millimeter on it. Um, and if you're asking why I didn't go with, with a a7 III is because I already have a bunch of the, uh, I can't think of it, the, whatever the, the battery is, the, the small one, the, NP50 or FW50 or whatever it is. I don't have the Z batteries for the other camera bodies. And it was more just I already have a bunch of the batteries. So easier on my end to just stay with the system that uses batteries I already have than to go out and have to get a bunch of different batteries, different uh, chargers, and all that stuff when my other Sony's use the other, the smaller battery. I'll take that trade off and being able to use the batteries I already have. So, and and I've been shooting with the this the Sony setup with the twenty eight mil lens, and to me, I couldn't be happier. You know, it, it's not the the Leica of you know setup, but at the end of the day, I am happy with the setup I chose not to say I wouldn't be happy with the like I would actually still really like to rent one just to just to kind of you know know what that experience is and you know maybe it'll maybe it'll either push me to later on down the line if I come across a good deal on one to say you know what let me go ahead and jump on it or to say you know what the image I'm getting are I'm happy with without going the route of the Leica. So with all that being said, you know, I've decided I'm, I'm going back to Sony for all my stuff. I'm still keeping the X-T1 in my vintage lenses because that's, that camera, the way the controls are set up, everything being on a separate dial, to me is better executed, is, is better executed than the X100F with the combined ISO shutter speed dial. And for me, being six foot tall, that the controls being being cramped up like that is is difficult for me to be able to manipulate the controls quickly and easily. Um, whereas on the Sony's, it's it's front and rear dial, and then if I want to, you know, manual focus, it's on the lens. And on the XT1, it's you know the shutter speed's on one side, the ISO's on another side, the aperture's on the lens because it's it's a vintage lens. So for me, I, I just, I think I've, I've determined my setup and my preferred system for shooting. And 
that's that's where I'm going. So I guess I really should have at the beginning of this said that this is going to be a talking video. So I'll probably put that in the, the notes down below, just that way people know. Hey, this can be kind of a slideshowy video. So anyway, thank you for listening and. If you if you've been in that same boat, you know, I'd like to hear some comments, you know, if you looked at going, you know, to a very a niche, I guess I would call it camera, the Leica Q2 or or the X100F or if you went to it and then you went away from it, just kind of your if you've been in the in this similar scenario, you know, where where you went, where you are you happy with your decision? Did you end up going changing your mind whatever you know i'd like to hear from in the comments so thanks for watching and have a good one